Food enthusiast Tyler Ledford and his date, Margot Mills, travel by boat to Hawthorne, an exclusive restaurant located on a private island, owned and operated by celebrity chef Julian Slowick. The other guests attending the dinner are Lillian Bloom, a food critic, her editor Ted, wealthy regulars Richard N. and Leibrandt, washed-up actor George and his personal assistant Felicity, business partners Soren, Dave, and Bryce, and Slowick's alcoholic mother. The group is given a tour of the island by the restaurant maitre d'hotel, Elsa, who notes that Margot was not Tyler's designated guest for the evening. Dinner begins, and Chef Slowick introduces a series of courses, delivering increasingly disturbing monologues about each dish. For the third course, uncomfortable truths about each guest ranging from affairs to embezzlement are exposed via laser-printed images on tortillas. For the fourth course, a sous-chef kills himself in front of the guests, causing a panic, but the staff make it clear no one may leave by cutting off one of Richard's fingers. Hawthorne's angel investor, to whom Slowick had to relinquish ownership of the restaurant to stay afloat during the COVID-19 pandemic, is then drowned. For the fifth course, which begins with Slowick allowing himself to be stabbed by a female employee whom he sexually harassed, the female guests dine while the male guests are given the chance to escape the island, but Slowick staff catch all of the men and present them with another dish. Slowick explains each guest was invited because they either contributed to him losing his passion for his craft or because they make a living off exploiting the work of artisans and workers like him and his team. He announces that everyone present will be dead by the end of the night. Since Margot's presence was unplanned, Slowick privately gives her the choice of dying either with the staff or the guests, but he refuses to let her leave. Margot is unmasked as an escort, who has served Richard Leibrandt, and whose real name is Aaron. Slowick reveals that Tyler was invited to the dinner months in advance and informed the guests would be killed. Despite this, Tyler was so zealous in his desire to participate in Slowick's craft that he kept the secret and hired Margot to replace his ex-girlfriend for the evening because Hawthorne did not offer seating for parties of one. Slowick humiliates Tyler by forcing him to cook and insulting his food, then orders Tyler to hang himself, Margot discovers his body. Slowick asks Margot to collect a barrel needed for dessert. En route, Margot sneaks into Slowick's house only to be attacked by a jealous Elsa. Margot kills Elsa in self-defense by stabbing her in the neck. After seeing a framed employee of the month award showing Slowick as a young and happy fast food cook, Margot finds a radio, calls for help and returns to the restaurant with the barrel. A Coast Guard officer arrives from his boat, but after the guests are convinced they have been saved, he reveals himself to be a line cook in disguise and returns to the kitchen. As dessert is being prepared, Margot mocks Slowick's dishes and loveless cooking and complains that she is still hungry. When Slowick asks what she would like to eat, Margot requests a cheeseburger. Moved by her humble request, Slowick does so, finding joy in creating the dish, and after she requests to take it to go, he and the staff allow her to leave. Margot takes the Coast Guard boat docked nearby and escapes the island. The dessert is an elevated esmores dish, the staff cover the floor with crushed graham crackers and adorn the guests with stoles made of marshmallows and hats made of chocolate. Slowick then sets the restaurant ablaze, detonating the barrel and killing the guests, staff, and himself. As Margot watches from the boat, she unpacks her cheeseburger, takes a bite, and uses a copy of the menu to wipe her mouth.